Mount Amadablam is a mountain located in the Himalayas in the eastern part of Nepal. It is one of the most beautiful and iconic peaks in the world and is considered one of the most technically difficult mountains to climb. Amadablam is located in the Kumru region of Nepal, which is also home to Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world. The mountain's name, Amadablam, means mother's necklace in the local Sherpa language, which refers to the long ridges on either side of the peak that look like the arms of a mother embracing her child. Amadablam has a height of 6,812 meters, 22,349 feet, and is known for its steep, icy faces and sharp ridges. Despite its impressive beauty and challenging climbing routes, Mount Amadablam is not as well known as some of the other famous peaks in the Himalayas. This may be due to the fact that it is located in a less visited part of the region or because it is overshadowed by the towering presence of Mount Everest. However, for those who do know about Amadablam, it is considered one of the most rewarding and breathtaking peaks to climb. The Mount Amadablam disaster refers to a tragic incident that occurred on 13 November 2006 when a massive serac, a block of glacial ice, broke off from the southwest ridge of Mount Amadablam a 6,812-meter peak located in the Himalayas of Nepal. The Serac, estimated to weigh around 20 tons, fell onto a popular climbing route known as the Southwest Ridge Route, killing six climbers and injuring several others. The Mount Amadablam disaster refers to a tragic incident that occurred on 13 November 2006 when a massive Serac, a block of glacial ice, broke off from the Southwest Ridge of Mount Amadablam a 6,812-meter peak located in the Himalayas of Nepal. The Serac, estimated to weigh around 20 tons, fell onto a popular climbing route known as the Southwest Ridge Route, killing six climbers and injuring several others. The victims of the disaster were identified as Daniel Nardi and Giampaolo Calza, two Italian climbers, Jumic Battalion climbers, Jumic Battaglia Sherpa guides, and jean Christophe Lafayette a French climber considered one of the greatest alpinists of his generation and his climbing partner. Alberto Inaradigi, a Basque climber who survived the incident with serious injuries. The Mount Amadablam disaster was a stark reminder of the risks involved in high altitude mountaineering and the unpredictable nature of the mountain environment. The incident also sparked debates about the safety and ethics of commercial climbing on high peaks as some climbers and mountaineering experts criticized the crowded and competitive nature of the Everest region and the pressure that guides and clients face to reach the summit at all costs. If you are planning to climb Mount Amadablam, here are some things you should know. Climbing Experience Climbing Mount Amadablam is considered a technical and challenging climb. It is recommended that climbers have prior experience in technical rock and ice climbing as well as high altitude mountaineering. Physical Fitness Climbing Mount Amadablam requires a high level of physical fitness and endurance. Climbers should engage in a rigorous training regimen before attempting the climb. Equipment. You will need specialized climbing equipment for the ascent of Mount Amadablam, including ice axes, crampons, ropes, harnesses, carabiners, and helmets. It is essential that you have the right gear and that it is in good condition. Permits. Climbing Mount Amadablam requires a permit from the Nepalese government. You can obtain this permit through a registered trekking agency. Weather conditions. Weather conditions on Mount Amadablam can be extreme, with high winds and low temperatures. It is important to check weather forecasts and plan your climb accordingly. Acclimatization. Acclimatization is crucial when climbing at high altitudes. It is recommended that you spend several days acclimatizing at base camp before attempting the summit. Guided climbs. It is highly recommended that you climb Mount Amadablam with a qualified and experienced guide. Not only will they be able to assist you with the climb itself, but they can also provide valuable advice on acclimatization, weather conditions, and other important factors. Environmental considerations. When climbing Mount Amadablam, it is important to be mindful of the impact you have on the environment. Make sure to follow the leave no trace principles and minimize your impact on the mountain and its surroundings. Overall, climbing Mount Amadablam is a challenging and rewarding experience for experienced mountaineers. Proper preparation and planning are essential for a safe and successful climb. Mount Amadablam is a mountain located in the Kumbu region of eastern Nepal, which is a popular climbing destination. Here are some important things that climbers should know about Mount Amadablam. Elevation. 
Mount Amadablam stands at 6,812 meters, 22,349 feet, above sea level. Climbing at high altitudes requires acclimatization and preparation to avoid altitude sickness. Difficulty. Mount Amadablam is considered a technically challenging climb with steep snow and ice slopes, rock climbing, and exposure to high altitude. Climbers should have prior mountaineering experience and be prepared for challenging conditions. Route. The most commonly climbed route is the Southwest Ridge, which involves ascending steep snow and ice slopes, a difficult rock section, and a steep summit ridge. The route requires good technical skills and climbers should be prepared for rappelling. Weather. The weather in the Himalayas can be unpredictable, and climbers should be prepared for extreme cold, high winds, and snowfall. The climbing season for Mount Amadablam is typically from October to November and from April to May, which are the periods with the most stable weather conditions. Permits. Climbing Mount Amadablam requires a permit from the Nepal Mountaineering Association, NEM, and climbers must also obtain a climbing permit from the government of Nepal. Climbers should follow all rules and regulations related to climbing in the region. Sherpa support. Many climbers hire Sherpas as guides and support staff to assist with the climb. Sherpas are experienced climbers who can provide guidance on the route, set up camp, and carry equipment. Environmental impact. Climbers should be mindful of their environmental impact and follow leave no trace principles. This includes properly disposing of waste, avoiding damage to vegetation and wildlife, and respecting local culture and customs.